What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slab Train, and welcome back, guys. Now, um, first off, I'd like to apologize for not having any videos ready today. It has been a long three days doing this PC build. Now, um, just to kind of get you guys updated on what's going on, uh, essentially, I have taken apart this thing now about three times, pieced it all back together, rewired it, and still having the same issues. So, I'm going to kind of give you guys my thoughts on why it's not working right now. We're going to go over the build as well too to show you guys what's inside of this thing and uh, going from there. So right off the bat, as I said, this thing has been giving me some issues. I've narrowed it down to a possible um, actual power supply not being strong enough to run everything or the processor chip, the i7, um, is a defective chip. Hopefully it's the pro it's the actual PSU and not the processor, but um, we're gonna have to wait and find out. And I am gonna be taking this to uh, the store that I purchased all the products from, and hopefully seeing what they say about it, and hopefully upgrading whatever I need to in store and getting this thing working today, man. I need this thing working today. Now to go over the build quickly, we have an Intel i7 4790 quad core processor. I believe this clocks in at about a 3.5 gigahertz. Not too shabby whatsoever. The motherboard we're running the Asus Z. 97A socket 1150 Intel Z97. Um, very nice motherboard. Obviously HDMI compatible, all that stuff. Dual graphics cards, blah blah blah. You know the drill, gentlemen. Uh, we went with the Corsair Vengeance 8 GB DDR3 1600 mAh RAM. Um, I decided to go with 8 and not 16 on this build. I just figured that uh, the 16 wouldn't really be necessary. Let me know in the comments if you guys think it will be, but um, I don't. I don't think it will be. I don't think so. Um, in terms of the graphics card, we went with the beautiful Asus GeForce GTX 750 Ti 2GB GDDR5. Now, um, beautiful little one, three times quieter, dual fan technology. It's supposed to run a lot longer as well too. So hopefully when everything gets put in and this thing is running, I'm going to actually be able to see the graphics that this thing produces. But for right now, I got a, I got a nice big ass paperweight. Um, went with the regular CD drive, something just basic. Don't need anything special for that. Um, we went with an external, or sorry, with an upgraded fan, the Coolmaster Hyper 212 Evo. Um, I feel like this is just going to be a little bit easier for everything to just cool down. Yes, it came with the fan, but I figured I'd update it anyways just to kind of give me that extra security. Went with the Western Digital one terabyte ex uh, actual hard drive, and then we went with as well to the CX600 Corsair power supply. Now this is the unit that I don't think is powerful enough to run everything. Let me know your thoughts. 600 watts for the entire build. I don't know man. People say I need at least 750. Let me know in the comment section below. We went with an SSD 120 gigabyte Kingston uh, drive as well too for you know the operating system and any other programs that I'm using constantly. Um, so let's just kind of make everything you know free up and just nice and fast. And we went with the Devastator keyboard and mouse combo now the entire build was 1535 after taxes and that may be increased after um, I take my trip back up to the store today to find out what's going on so I figured I'd just kind of give you guys updated on what's going on um, it's been a long build man uh, we had pro we had problems with the actual cool master getting into place um, that took us a fair bit and then now as I said I'm having issues with no video I mean I've done everything I've taken off the graphics card from the motherboard um, tried to boot it up on the VGA right through the motherboard HDMI through the motherboard nothing put back on the graphics card HDMI VGA as well too nothing um, I've taken out my RAM I've only put one RAM in to find out if that's the case that's fine um, all my fans work um, I just don't know the issue, man. I don't hear any beeps. I don't hear nothing. So people have been telling me that either, like I said, the power supply is not big enough to run everything that I've picked up, or as I said, the processor is um, defective. Now, as I said, the processor is my, my biggest worry just because I don't know if the store is going to return a defective processor as long as the pins are not bent. I believe they, well, they better they damn well better, you know what I'm saying? It's an expensive damn little processor chip. But yeah, so that, um, but I'm really hoping it's just the power supply and I can go ahead and pick up another one that is bigger and hopefully that will run everything. Um, <clears throat> I've put this computer back together now probably like once or twice. I feel confident enough that I could have done this myself. 
again if need be. Um, very, very simple. It's very much just matching up the cables, you know, reading the instruction books. I had my buddy help me for the first build just because I don't really know what I was doing to start it off. So um, now I feel confident enough that I've done everything and I can pretty much do it myself. Considering last night I was up till about 3 in the morning trying to get everything done without the graphics card in. So if we're going to give you guys a little update video, I'll keep you guys updated on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, just to kind of let you guys know what's going on. But every time I boot it up, I get lights, I get everything, just no video on the unit. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'm hoping to have this thing ready to go, um, you know, mid-afternoon and hopefully producing some videos for you guys for uh, this weekend for PC. So thank you guys very much for watching today. It's your Buddha Slap Train. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>